Good afternoon from Cabana Bay Beach Resort at Universal Orlando. We're here today to do a resort tour. This resort is pretty large, so we are gonna be doing some walking back and forth and back and forth, but we were able to work with Universal Orlando to get inside of some of the rooms and give you guys a tour of a few of the rooms. Let's go check it out. Before we head in, this is a 1950s and 60s themed hotel. So we've got all kinds of classic cars out front. An Imperial, a Thunderbird, a, what is this, a town and country or something else? A country squire. They're cool and they're all loaded with vintage luggage too. Each car has a little plaque inside that gives a few facts about it. This car was credited with the introduction of cruise control which was called autopilot. Our first stop is the port cochere and the lobby. This is the area where you can get dropped off to check in and then head right into the lobby. I always felt that this was my favorite lobby because it's just so clean and bright in here. I like the design of it. Everything's so vintage looking and nice and over here, is the front desk. There's an Avis rental car booth, there's luggage services, and then here is the front desk where you come to check in. There's a digital sign here that tells you all sorts of stuff about what's going on around the resort, what time things open and close, and what the weather is like. And what's the first thing that you do right after you check in? You head up to your room. We were actually able to tour two different rooms. We were able to tour one in the new towers, which overlooks Volcano Bay, and one of the family suites. So our first room that we're gonna to tour at Cabana Bay is a family suite. So let's walk in. This is this is a very large refrigerator. It's got a sink in here. This is a, a little kitchenette type area with a microwave, a coffee maker. There's another little seating area over here with a TV, another dresser. This is a pullout couch. I'm like, there's a little bar here. There's a couple of USB plugs here so you can charge your phone while you're sitting at this countertop. And this area over here where the beds are can actually be closed off from this little area here. So it's basically like you're getting two rooms. In the bedroom area, this is two queen size beds. There's another TV in here. I like this vintage looking clock they've got here. There are two plugs next to the bed. I'm not seeing any USB plugs next to the bed, which is okay. They still have the plugs so you can charge your phone and there's a lot of plugs, there's four of them all together. The artwork is amazing in these rooms. It's so art deco. And there's a closet over here. There is no door on the closet, which is okay. There's a safe in here, which also looks like it might be big enough to fit a small laptop. There is an ironing board and an iron. A couple of other sets of pillows in here. On the back side of this wall here that separates the two rooms, on this side there's a set of drawers here for you to put your stuff in for this side, which is also a soft close. And then there's another set over here on this side for you to use in this room. Let's have a look in the bathroom. Oh, hello everybody. It's kind of interesting because there are two sinks in here and there's a separate room for the toilet, which makes it very nice and very private so that somebody can still be using the sink and the hair dryer and the toilet and the shower. That way an entire family can get ready to go out into the parks and not be in each other's way. They have vintage zest soap and they have vintage VO5 shampoo and conditioner fits with the motif of the resort. There's a very large mirror on the back of the door. That's the shower room. There's another mirror here. There's another mirror right there. I think that's it for mirrors. I like that you can separate out and basically have two different rooms. It's a very nice sized room. Let's have a look at the view. I like that they have floor to ceiling windows. It has a view of the pool and the lazy river out there and this beach area. This is nice. And the second room we get to tour at Cabana Bay is in the beachside tower. And I think that I'm just gonna go right to it. The main aspect of this room is the view of Volcano Bay. Holy macaroni. This is impressive. I would not mind waking up to this every day and seeing the sunset every night looking at Volcano Bay. All right, yeah, let's look at the room. Okay, so it's very similar to the family suite, except for, of course, it's only just one room. And we've got just a single cup coffee maker. The other one had a dual cup coffee maker. Still has a refrigerator. It's a little bit smaller refrigerator. Still 
very nice. Let's have a look next to the beds here. Still no USB chargers on these. There are a lot of plugs that you can plug your phone in. Okay, let's have a look in the bathroom. So I'm seeing another main difference here is that the toilet is in with the shower and there's no tub, but it's still, it's a very large shower and this is a very large bathroom. And the sink is very similar too. Hey everybody. But it feels bigger. Like the, the family suite that we just visited was large. The bathroom was large, but this bathroom just feels bigger. Let's have a look in the closet. Same idea. There is a safe that has enough room for a small laptop. There are doors on these closets. An iron and ironing board, a luggage rack, a couple of extra pillows, and some hangers. There it is. It looks very similar to the family suite, but just a little bit smaller. Still just as nice though. And that view, oh my goodness gracious, that view. Wow, can't get over this. As we turn past the front desk, there's a huge glass wall and this overlooks the main pool, which we will be visiting a little bit later. There's still a little bit more here in the lobby and main building area that we have to check out, like Swizzle Lounge, which is just like the main lobby bar here. I thought maybe this was a menu for the lounge, but it, nope, just the hours. They're not gonna be open today until five o'clock. Here's a look at the menu for Swizzle Lounge. It is just drinks. I don't think they have any sort of small plates or anything like that out here. Yeah, just like beers, wines, and liquors. Right next to Swizzle Lounge, there are some bathrooms, an ATM, and then the Universal Gift Shop. Before we head into the gift shop, I just want to show you one more thing here in the main lobby. This is a Universal Vacation Planning Center where you can buy your tickets or pick up tickets that you've already bought, set up any tickets or anything that you need. Basically like a Universal Concierge. So let's head in here and check out the gift shop. They've got stuff from Harry Potter. They've got General Universal stuff. We got some Universal 2018 stuff. You can buy a wand here. They have Cabana Bay merchandise. Anything you can imagine. Minion stuff. Kind of like a one-stop shop for Universal merchandise if you forgot something in the parks. They also have any toiletries you may have forgotten. Sunscreen, a leave, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, stuff like that. From the lobby, turning to our left past the Universal gift shop, and heading in this direction, there's actually a Starbucks inside of this hotel. And of course, this is basically just like any other Starbucks that you've ever been to. Everything that they have is the same thing you can get at any other Starbucks. From the Starbucks, we are actually gonna head up this little spiral staircase out in front of it and head upstairs first. And here at the top of the stairs is Galaxy Bowl. This is actually a full bowling alley in the middle of the hotel. I like that it's called Galaxy Bowl and they actually have their own line of merchandise. Say like Galaxy Bowl keychains or a Galaxy Bowl shirt. There's also a little bar in here where you can get some appetizers or small plates or some sandwiches. Oh, or burgers. A picnic burger. That sounds delicious. Ooh, they also have desserts. From Galaxy Bowl, we are turning to our right and heading in this direction. There's some bathrooms up here, another ATM. And then over here, kind of overlooking the main lobby, is Jack LaLanne's physical fitness studio. That's a very roomy gym with lots and lots of equipment in it. And it seems like they've got some treadmills and some bikes that overlook the main pool. From the fitness center, I'm just turning and giving you guys an overview of the main lobby, just to give you guys like a way to kind of get a feel for how this hotel is laid out. This is where we first came in. That is the front desk where you check in. And over here is Swizzle Lounge. And then right below us is the gift shop. Jack Lane's Fitness Center definitely has a lot of workout equipment in it. And then over here at the end of the hallway is an exit out to a ramp that will lead you down to the main pool. But like I said, we're not going there just yet. So we're gonna head back in this direction. And now back at the Galaxy Bowl, we are going to turn left. Right next to Galaxy Bowl is the Game-O-Rama, the arcade here at this hotel. This is a pretty calm arcade. Lots and lots of fun stuff in it. Whoa, what's this? It's a fishing game. That's like a table game. The Injustice Arcade, Air Hockey, Ski Ball, Transformers, 
basketball, so much fun stuff, Jurassic Park, pretty fun arcade. Back out at the entrance of game Rama, we're gonna head to the left over here. There's not really too many other things up here on this balcony. We'll have to head back down the stairs, but I wanted to show you one more thing. There's a nice little seating area over here. We're just around the corner from the arcade. And the last thing over here is the Fun in the Sun Rec Center, which I don't think there's anything going on in. It looks like the lights are all turned off in there. Basically like meeting rooms, I think. And there's another entrance to it over here. So if you have a meeting at Cabana Bay, I think you could probably rent out this or reserve this little meeting space right here. And directly opposite from the Fun in the Sun Rec Center is the Bayliner Diner, which we're gonna go downstairs and have a look at the menu and everything, but I wanted to give you guys an overview of this cafeteria slash dining area. Okay, we're back at the Galaxy Bowl, and now we are headed down the stairs, back to the Starbucks, and now we're headed past another set of bathrooms over here and towards Bayliner Diner. So just a second ago, we were up above ourselves right now, overlooking the dining area of the Bayliner Diner, and we are turning behind us to what was underneath us. This is where you get your food from and then take it out and eat it in the cafeteria area. First thing that we come across is a grab and go area where you can get all kinds of little quick drinks or fruit snacks or anything like that. And they also have chips and cookies, bagels, danishes, some more cookies, some Pringles, combos, you know, little snacks here and there. I do like that they offer these refillable cups for use with the Coke Freestyle machines in the hotel. I think it's like $14 for the cup and then to refill it costs $7 or something like that. I'll find out for you guys exactly how much it is. Next they have a little deli and according to the sign, this deli is the best around. I think it's the only one around. Let's see what they've got. Basically like sandwiches and stuff like that. Roast turkey and provolone sounds delicious. So have some sides here. Yeah, simple stuff. Ooh, what's that? Cuban sandwich. Wow, that looks good too. They have freshly baked pastries and cakes. That looks so good. Oh my goodness, that's a s'mores pie. That looks so delicious. And then to the right of that, I think they have probably the most popular area here is the pizza section. It's delicioso pizza. Just basic pizza stuff. Nothing too intense. And then for sides, they just have mac and cheese or garlic breadsticks. In the center of this area, they have a salad bar, and the salad bar is 60 cents per ounce. You can get all kinds of stuff here. Sushi, now available in the inside cooler. Oh my goodness. Is that at the salad bar that there's sushi available? And is it part of the 60 cents? Where's the cooler? Interesting, is it right here? Nope, that's definitely not the cooler. So on the other side of the salad bar, it looks like we've got just a section here where you can get donuts and cookies and toast. They have toasters out in the dining room so you can make your, your toast. And then they don't have it right now. This is probably just for breakfast stuff. A leek and Parmesan pastry, breakfast burrito, or a crispy chicken sandwich. And they've got some cereal over here. And these are all toppings for, oh, hot fudge and caramel or the frozen yogurt bar. They have interesting flavors like mango sorbet or original tart, cable car chocolate and sugar-free vanilla. Back at the pizza place and right next to it is the International Eats, a world of taste. Let's see what they've got on their menu. This looks really good actually. It's all kinds of interesting international stuff like Brazilian beef churrasco or chicken pot pie or jambalaya. That chicken pot pie looks good. Right next to International Eats, Sizzling good, hot off the grill. This is my kind of a place right here. It's like a hot dog or chicken tenders or a hamburger. Oh, here it is. This is the cost of those cups. That barbecue chicken breast sandwich sounds good. The Cabana Bay burger sounds good. Oh, I found the sushi. It's in the grab and go section. $9.99. That's not bad. I wonder how good it is. Have any of you guys had the sushi from Cabana Bay? Check this out. They have a whole gluten-free section over here. It's basically just snacks and stuff like that, but still pretty awesome. You can get a gluten-free chocolate muffin. Pretty neat. Some quinoa salad. In the grab-and-go section, they also have a s'mores kit. I'm guessing they have a fire pit somewhere outside that you can make s'mores at. Oh, this side sells candy by the ounce. You just get like a pound of Reese's Pieces. That sounds so good. So from the area where you get your food, turning past the cafeteria area, 
We're gonna head over in this direction towards this mural over here. There's not much more over here in this building, but I wanted to show you guys one more thing. Just looking at this mural here, you can see there's a couple of tables set up over here. Right behind it is just a little seating area with what looks like a TV. Uh, but there's nothing playing on the TV right now. It's a very comfortable looking seating area though. Just to give you guys a little bit of wayfinding, there's those tables over there. And if we look right outside, there's those classic cars. And directly across from us is the lobby, which consequently is where we're headed back to right now. So here we are back in the main lobby right here at the check-in desk. And we're gonna turn and head out this way, kind of explore near the pool. Here's a look at the map. Oh look, they have about three private cabanas over here. Uh, this is where we are, you are here. This is the main lobby building that we just went all through. And there's one pool here and another pool over here. And then the two towers that we have to go and try to check out before the rain. So let's head around this pool. Here's an overview of the pool area. They're having a big game and party going on over here. There's a slide right in the center of it to give you guys some more wayfinding. The pool is behind us right now. And you can see the slide and everything. And then right here is the main lobby building. And then this is a uh, like a beachy type area with some beach sand. They've got a little bin here where they have some toys that you can build sand castles with. And they've got a couple of ping pong tables and some ping pong paddles over here. I wonder if there used to be something else over there. I don't know. And they've got a couple of other games on this little boardwalk type area. Got some cornhole, got some connect four. Maybe you could take the cornhole out into this beachy area and play it in the sand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, this is the beachy type area, the pools over there, lobby buildings over here. We're turning and heading out of the pool fence because I just noticed that just on the other side of this is a pool table. Nice little outdoor pool table. I don't know where you get the balls from. Maybe it costs money? Ah, it does. So you have to have money to play this game of pool from the tables. We are back inside the pool area. Here's all the private cabanas. From what I can see, it looks like there's about 17 of them. Here's a look at what the inside of one of these private cabanas looks like. I like that they have this vintage looking TV area over here too. And then they've got delivery that you can get. You can get some pizzas delivered to your cabana at Cabana Bay. This whole pool area is just kind of chaotic. So we're looking back at the pool, main lobby's on the other side. This is the slide. This is the ramp that leads up to the slide. These are some bathrooms right here. There is a beach pavilion over here with like some shaded tables. And then there's a grassy knoll area over here with some more games on it. So you can play cornhole or you can play ladder ball or connect four and they got some hula hoops off in the distance over there too and it's a little bit quieter over here oh and each of these buildings has their name up on top of it like we're right now looking at the thunderbird building and you can see this is the bay pavilion over here too we're still inside of the pool deck over here you can see the castaway building over there this is the thunderbird building and just underneath it with these little picnic type areas. I don't see any barbecue grills yet though. Now we're over by the Starlight building and I wanted to point out that they do provide towels for you. So you don't need to bring any from your room. They've got them down here at the pool. Underneath the ramp that leads up to the slide, there's a little splash pad here for the kids. There's some more private cabanas over here. And then we are headed just past, you can see Starlight. That should help you guys with some of the wayfinding is being able to read the large signs of the buildings behind whatever I'm showing. And we're headed over to Atomic Tonic Lounge, almost directly in line with the Starlight name, is the hot tub. And right next to that hot tub is the Atomic Tonic Pool Bar. I like that there's a big rocket here that just says ham on it. Here's the menu for the Atomic Tonic. It's basically just another, you know, pool bar. I don't see any food, all drinks here. It looks like each month they change their specials. That sounds awesome. Right behind the Atomic Tonic is a quick service area here where you can get food. It's just kind of some quick service type stuff. Some nice light bites to eat while you're at the pool. We've made it around the entire pool and now we are back towards the lobby, the main lobby, and this is where the fire pit is. So if you buy one of those s'mores kits, you can come out here at night and I believe they will have a fire. Now we have made it all the way around the pool 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one last trip around the outside of the pool rather than inside of the pool deck. Then we're gonna head back into the main lobby building and make our way around over to the other pool and the lazy river and the new towers. We're back over by the checkers board and you can see there's the main lobby back there. This is the pool area. We're just walking around the outside of it. Now, admittedly, the whole reason that I decided to go back around the pool on the outside was because over here by the Thunderbird, I saw a sign that says Flamingo Park, and it piqued my interest. So I'm trying to figure out what Flamingo Park is. I also wanted to show you guys a little bit closer view of this picnic area. Here we go. We're at Flamingo Park. I don't know what Flamingo Park is, but we're here. We made it. I think there was supposed to be a car parked here. Just seems like a good spot to park a car. And I feel like one time when we stayed here, there was a car here. You can kind of see some like tire marks from it. I'm thinking Flamingo Park is just this collection of these little picnic areas here. Gotcha. We have made it all the way around the outside of the pool. We're actually headed up this ramp here to head to the second level of the main lobby building. So here we are at the top of the ramp. And you guys remember when we are right next to Jack Lane's Fitness Center up on the second level of the main lobby. That's where we're at now. Again, here we go, an overview of the main lobby again. And what we're doing is we're turning and heading back this way to the stairs by the Starbucks and heading over to Bayliner because that leads out to the other pool area. From the main lobby down that way, we are back inside of Bayliner Diner and we are headed out to the second pool and the Lazy River area. Before we head out to the pool area, I wanted to show you guys, here's the mural over here and there's some bathrooms over here but these are the Americana Bayside Tower elevators. One last look at Bayliner Diner, and we are going to turn past the Volcano Bay display, which tells you all kinds of, all kinds of information about Volcano Bay. We're headed out to this pool area. And the first thing that we see is a nice little seating area. So if you get some food at Bayliner, you wanna come out and eat outside, there's a cat here too. Look at this. Well, hello there. You all right? This is the Cabana Bay Cat. From the Cabana Bay Cat, I tried to pet it, it didn't like that. So don't try to pet this cat. <laughs> You're passing by the pool entrance. Whoa, you can see Krakatau right there. That's Volcano Bay. And this is where the fire pit is for this side of the hotel. A nice little relaxing area. So if you get some s'mores, you can come out here and do the s'mores by the fire pit. And let's head out into the pool deck area. And looking back at Bayliner, there's another fire pit over here. So you got multiple areas where you can do your s'mores. And this is my favorite thing. There's a fountain over here and we are in the pool deck area. This is the designated smoking area. They say, please do not swim in the fountain. So you can tell that somebody definitely tried to get into the fountain and go swimming because it is in the pool area. This side definitely is a lot quieter and there's a lot more area to lay down. Although it's not so close to the pool. This pool's a little bit smaller too. So looking back at the Bayliner, just wanted to give you guys an idea of what was over here. This is the Americana Tower. And over here is the Continental Tower. So let's go down and have a look at the pool. Yeah, this pool isn't nearly as large as the one on the other side of the resort, but it's definitely quieter over here. Looking up at the Continental, first thing that we come across is the Hideaway Bar and Grill. Just another pool bar where you can get some food and some drinks. It looks like the specials are the same over here as they are on the other side of the resort. Here's a quick look at the drink menu for the Hideaway Bar. And one of my favorite things about this resort is you can actually get your drinks in a pool cup that you can take in the pool. Sorry for the frame rate flicker here, but here's what they have over at the Hideaway Grill. Looks pretty good. They have Hawaiian hot dogs, burgers, chicken wings, kids burgers, desserts. This side of the hideaway is not marked. The sign was down at the other end by the bar. But this is where the grill is. And it says there's additional seating upstairs. So there's another little deck up there where you can go and sit and eat your food. But I wanted to show you guys, I think this is a splash pad. Like kids can play in the water over here. Not very exciting or soft, but it's an area. And then there's also little hot tub over here. Actually, it's kind of a big hot tub over there. Oh yeah, this is called the Kids Fountain. I like that it says no lifeguard on duty, swim at your own risk. Kind of right back at the center of the pool area, you can see straight ahead of us is the Bayliner Diner. Continental is off to our left. The Americana is off to our right. Here's the Hideaway Grill. Around the corner is the Kids Splash Pad. These are the bathrooms right here. And then over here is an area where you can buy Cabana Bay pool floats. They're actually very reasonably priced. 
Volcano Bay is just on the other side of these buildings here. But you may ask yourself, why do you need a pool float or a, an inner tube? This resort has a lazy river for you to float around in, in an inner tube. Here's the other fun thing about the lazy river. There's these little water cannons over here that kids can spray people as they float by. Now we are outside of the pool area and we're gonna do like we did on the other side and make our way around because we do have to make our way to at least one of these other towers over here. There's one on each side. We are making our way around the outside of the lazy river almost at the very end of the Cabana Bay property. So we really are right at the very end of the Cabana Bay property. Here's the lazy river. Here's the walkway that we're on. That fence right there is Volcano Bay. And we're headed towards this tower. So I know that it's kind of hard to see, but to give you guys some wayfinding points, here's the hot tub. The pool with the lazy river is kind of over there. These are the bathrooms for this pool area. This is the Continental. That's the Americana. And we are right here underneath the towers. Before we head over there, I wanted to show you guys, there's another little sandy area over here with some games like ping pong and cornhole and Connect 4 that you can play. Because everything has a large name on the top of it, it's easy to tell where we are. You can see there's the Americana right there. This building right here is the Continental. Here's where the ping pong tables and everything are. And right behind me is the beachside tower. Volcano Bay is right there. You can see some of the thatch roofing just outside of the beachside tower and half of these towers view into Volcano Bay. From the beachside towers, we're gonna turn, follow that same path that we were walking on that leads in between Volcano Bay and Cabana Bay. We're gonna try to find the side entrance to Volcano Bay that is only accessible to Cabana Bay guests. So you do need a room key to enter into Volcano Bay from this side. And I was wrong, you can get into this entrance if you are a resort guest at any of the Universal Orlando resorts, but I think it's just easier if you're staying at Cabana Bay because you wouldn't have to transfer from a different hotel to come to Cabana Bay just to get into the side entrance. Still following the signs, this is the Americana building. There's another tower over here that also has views of Volcano Bay. This is the Bayside Tower. So just to give you guys an idea of where we are, this is the Americana Tower. This is the Bayside Tower. If we follow the Americana around, the front entrance to Cabana Bay is right over there. Here's some parking over here. You can see the Aventura Hotel off in the distance there. And this is where we are headed. And there it is. This is the side entrance to Volcano Bay. That is only accessible to resort guests. Like I can't go in there because I'm not staying at this resort so I don't have a room key. But here it is, and we're gonna head back towards the front lobby now. And there we are, we are back at the classic cars and the main lobby. I'm just gonna head over towards the pool and check the map one more time and make sure we didn't miss anything. Well, I came back to this map to have a look and it looks like we saw everything here at Cabana Bay Beach Resort. So there you have it, that was our tour of Cabana Bay Beach Resort. I like this resort a lot. It's cool, uh, the theming is fantastic. There's so much to do here. The only problem that I have is that there is a lot of people here. Like a lot of people here and that one pool was very loud but that view of volcano bay from those towers over there wow i cannot wait to one day stay here with a volcano bay view room because i just want to see what it looks like at night i want to see what it looks like first thing in the morning i want to do a time lapse so with that being said we are off we'll see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price